Hola mi serenita, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing the Juvia's Place, The Sweet Pinks by Juvia's. This is the mini series, you guys already know, I just did the taupe one. This one is called The Sweet Pinks. I honestly started calling it the berries, but the berries like the original one from their first three that they released. I believe they had the nudes, the berries, and they had like another one, right? It was like three or four that they released, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but... This is the last three, the most recent three that they just released. And these are the colors in here. These pinks didn't come to play, you guys. They are really overwhelmingly pigmented, like super pigmented. So much so, I don't know what to feel <laughs> about this look I, I have on my face. Because it's like, ooh, man. Is there such a thing as too much pink? Like, I don't know. I'm liking it, but at the same time, I'm like, Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> if you guys are wondering what I have on my lips, I have um, Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color Bend and Snap. This is not one of their recent ones. This is one of like their original 16 or something like that that they released a long time ago. So it's definitely an oldie, but I thought that the color combination would complement, you know, have a pink lipstick to go with my pink look. I don't know. And if you guys are wondering why I don't have uh, eyeliner on, it's because I plan to take off this look after I took a picture for Instagram and then I'm going to start doing the review for the mauve one. So yeah, I'm doing two videos in one day. So if you guys see this video and then the next time you see me doing the mauve video and I'm wearing the same shirt, same day, okay? <laughs> don't be thinking I don't change and stuff like she nasty. Heck no, it's the same day. I'm over here trying to pop them out like bunnies because I'm like way backed up on my reviews and I'm like, dang, I need to start um, pancake stacking them because it's getting crazy and I need to catch up. So I'm going to start with the swatches. You guys already know these don't have, she could not be bothered with names. She said, forget that. Just stick them in that palette and sell that shit. <laughs> I don't know why she didn't do it. Maybe it has something to do with patent like does it have to do with something legally you guys that they don't bother with the names because you can't like repeat a shade name isn't it illegal or something like that i don't know i just figured probably business wise and not to get sued it's probably best to leave them blank i don't know i don't know anything about that but we're gonna start with this one right here um i didn't get to use that one today but she does look like this um shimmer metallic formula she has this very clear glitter sheen all throughout her. I'm kind of worried about these pressed pigments in here. Because I'm pretty sure that is a pressed pigment. That's not an actual shimmer shimmer. That one looks more... Feels... I used that one today. That feels more like a foiled shimmer. If that makes sense. And this one feels like an actual shimmer. Like 100% shimmer, you know? Next to that we have this matte magenta one in here. And I'm just worried about, um, you know, staining you guys. And we'll see. I'll, I'll When I take this off right now, before I do my mauve one, I'll put it up here if it's stained or not. I'm kind of worried it will stain because these are really pigmented pat, like shades, like no joke. So I'm going to do another swatch on that magenta one so you guys can see. Look at that buildable color. The third one is the one that I used. This is a rose tone shimmer. It is so beautiful in person, you guys. I want to call it almost like a dual chrome because it has this goldness to it. Like you can see a little gold sheen in there. I don't know. It's very pretty. I used it as an inner corner highlight and it was like perfect for that. In the next row, we're going to start with the one that right here that I used as my transition shade. She has like a peachy tone pink uh, on the darker end. Oof, but she's so pretty, you guys. That is one swatch. I could totally add another one for you guys. She's such a beautiful color. And then next to her, we have the one that I used on my overall lid. It does have like little chunks. It looks like foil chunks. And then it's just like this metallic to her with this very clear glitter throughout her formula. But she is super pigmented, like neon pink pigmented. That's how bright she is when I put her on. I was like, that's when I was like, ugh. I don't know about this one. She looks really like in your face pink, you know? Like, oh God, man, did I make a mistake? Maybe I should have went safer than that. But it was like, too late, bitch. Just keep going. 
So the last one in here is like this super neon pink. Oh God. Like you're, there's just no escaping that one. Look at that one. That's just one swatch. Like I could totally give you guys another swatch, but she is super pigmented. And those are the colors. Like I said, it's like really quick because it's only six shades, you know. And I'm pretty sure the other one, that's why I said I'm going to do the two videos because there's not a whole lot of shades to swatch. And you guys know I swatch every single shade. So I knew it's not going to be that long anyways. So yeah, this hopefully is not really going to be, I don't, pretty sure it's not going to be a really long video compared to my other videos. But those are the swatches. And if you guys want to see how I created this look today, just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so for my first color, I went in with this pink right here in the corner. So it is a matte. It's like this peachy tone pink, I would say. And that's what I use for my transition shade. So for my next color, I went in with this shimmer down here. It is super, like, I want to call it like a hot pink um, shimmer. And it has this sort of, I want to consider it like a between a foiled and a glitter formula. So you do have this possibility that it will flake off. And when it flakes off, it leaves a lot of like glittery hot pink residue on your cheeks. So definitely that's one that you want to do before your rest of your eye makeup or the rest of your face makeup in general because it spreads. It spreads like wildfire and there's just no getting rid of it after that. There's, it's just there now. So definitely, yeah, do your eye look first with this palette and then do your the rest of your face makeup. But that's what I used, you guys. So for my next color, I went in with this very magenta matte right here on top. I just honestly patted it in right here and then all on my bottom lid and then a little bit across, just barely anything. So you guys can see it on this side. I only really patted it in right here, all on the bottom and then a tiny bit across. Just You can't even really tell the one across it. You can barely tell it's there. So just letting you guys know that's what I did. So for my inner corner highlight, I went in with this top rose. It's like a rose pink. I really like it. It's like this paler, icier version of a rose pink. Um, it's very pretty. Honestly, if you wanted to go like a more softer look than what I went for today, you could totally go in with that first transition shade and then use that one that I used as an inner corner highlight. So you would normally go in with this one as a transition shade. This one probably as an overall lid. And then you could probably use a little bit of that one. Maybe that one if you use it in a softer way. And then just don't do anything on the bottom of your lid, right? Other than that, that's that's the one that I use for my inner corner highlight. So that's the finished eye look, you guys. I'm just going to apply some mascara. And I didn't bother with eyeliner today because I still have to do another video after this. So... Two videos in one day I thought maybe I'll just leave it out and we'll just move on to the next look <laughs> the next palette so yeah just let me put some mascara and I'll be right back to give you guys a close-up so this is the finished eye look today hopefully you guys like it I think it's a very bright bold pink palette to be honest um, kind of not my thing it's a little bit too much for me but it's not exactly something I would shy away from definitely would prefer to use this with another palette and not by itself <laughs> so let me back you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette okay you guys i'm back and honestly it's not a bad palette it's really cute i like the pinks and stuff it's just that i kind of don't like this formula in here like i said i was using it earlier on this eye and just it got sort of like transferred from my finger and I wasn't watching what I was doing. I was like, oh, I touched my cheek. 
then when I went to go clean it, it just spread like wildfire from one side of my cheek to the other. I was like, well, there's just no going back now, right? <laughs> so long as I think it doesn't stain my eye, I think I'm fine with it. It's just, it's a lot of intense pink. This would fit anyone darker than me perfectly because it's going to pop so much on your skin tone. I think it's barely workable for even me and even then for me I'm like okay there's a little bit too much I would probably prefer to use it in combination with another palette you know just mix a bunch of subtle pinks with these type of pinks or maybe some neutrals with this pop of pink color you know not just pink on top of pink on top of pink because I'm fine with color it's just when it's too intense I think I look weird for in my opinion on my personal skin I feel like it's too much you know it overwhelms the whole entire eye and then I just think to myself dang people are gonna think I look like a clown but that's just me you know it doesn't have to be you you can totally be fine in color like that it's just for me I would prefer to neutral you know transition shade and maybe just an overall pink sh like color and then maybe darken it up a bit with some dark brown or black and then just leave it like that you know I'd be fine with it like that but other than that, like I said, it's a cute palette. Uh, I think it costs $14 that I remember. All of them cost $14. And I'm going to do the other one today. I'm going to do the last one of this series, which is the mauve, I think it is. That's the one I'm looking most forward to because I didn't really like the taupes. <laughs> and this one is, is nice. It's just mauve purples are like, oof, God, I love those colors. So I'm going to leave this right here, you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.